Screw you guys. I'm going home. What's up, fools? So today I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about TV shows that you might have that don't fit into any actual TV show category. So, for example, at this point, you've probably already scanned all of your TV shows into Kodi, but you may have some videos in your collection that don't really fit into any actual TV show. This sort of scenario is what I call a virtual show or virtual shows. Let me show you what I mean by that. So we're going to go into TV shows and then I'll pick a virtual show. In other words, a show that's not really a show, but I want it to look and act like it is a real show. So in this case, we'll go over here to NFL Super Bowls. And we know that there is no show called NFL Super Bowls, but looking at this sort of view, you would never know that. So I'll click on that. And then we see here, uh, that the uh, Super Bowls all appear as any other show would. And the way that I've got this structured is, you know, assuming that Super Bowl one uh, was season one, then we can fast forward, for example, to season 31, which, you know, would be Super Bowl 31, and then Super Bowl 36, 37, 38, 39, and so forth. And, uh, and then if you go into any of these, of course, uh, essentially, most of them only have one episode, with the episode being the actual Super Bowl itself. There are some in here that have two episodes, and those are the scenarios where I had, um, you know, the first half and the second half split out, um, going back to the old days when disk space was really expensive. So you can see here how this looks. Uh, very nice. It looks like any other TV show. You wouldn't realize that it's not a TV show like any other show. So I'm going to show you kind of how to do that today, um, and I'll walk you through some examples. So there's other shows that we've got that fall into this category as well. There used to be a website called Game Trailers TV, which I really, really liked. They did a lot of specials, um, and there actually was a show called GTTV on U.S. television. It was on a network called Spike, uh, and that show was was crap, but it was run by the same crew that runs the GameTrailers.com before Game Trailers went bust. Um, and they used to do a lot of interesting stuff. So here's another logical show where there's a show that doesn't actually exist. But like I've created season one, two, three, and four, where season one are uh, the best trailers. Uh, season two are game trailer reviews. Season three is game trailer retrospective videos. And season four was the game of the year awards. So for example, we can go into season four. And we see, you know, 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way through uh, 2015 game of the year in each of their videos for that. So it appears like it's a regular season of a regular show, but it's not really. I've just grouped it in such a way as to where it appears that way to the system, which is really nice because now I can create smart playlists. I can filter the library, search the library um, and things like that. And this will all be part of that. As you can see here, here's some retrospectives that they did, like, you know, Castlevania 1 through 5, um, you know, the Final Fantasy retrospectives and all that stuff, GTA and all that. But the point is, this stuff appears as, you know, Season 3, um, reviews, you know, same thing, appears like any other episode from any other show. So let's look at how exactly we do that because you can't use a scraper, of course, to fetch this sort of information because there's no such show as these shows. Another good idea or something that I've done also is you can take shows like BBC specials that aren't part of any uh, umbrella television program and you can take those and create logical programs like like you're seeing here. So long story short, we take a look here, we'll see that uh, down below here on my server I've got uh, obviously the server name, the share name, and then I get into TV shows and then inside TV shows, I've got NFL. So this is where I store all those NFL Super Bowls that I'm talking about. And just like any other show, I've grouped the, the seasons, season one, season 36, 37, 38, and so forth. Obviously I haven't uh, recorded or captured a Super Bowl since 2010, so I'm 
it was like six years behind, but in any event, that's not the point. The point is if I go into any of these folders, then I can see the, uh, the files are in there, the video files are in there. So all you really need to do is create this file called tvshow.nfo, and I'll leave a link in this description here for a template of how to create that. But basically, you can see here this TV show NFO. Um, all you really need to provide here is the title of the show um, and the rest of these details you really don't have to provide at all. I mean, I've taken the extra step to give like a plot outline, um, you know, plot the outline, some other detail like the genre it's in, which is sports, and the date of the first Super Bowl, the date the super, super first Super Bowl aired in the studio. But you don't really need to do that. All you really need to do is provide a show title, uh, a title and a show title. That's really all you really have to do for this to work. The rest of these fields you can all leave blank, uh, and they'll default back to the default values. Okay, so once you've got that TV show NFO, you could refresh that folder to get that in the library although you probably want to add artwork and things like that before you do that. So you make the TV show NFO and then for you create your fake seasons like I've done here. And then for each season, you've got to create an NFO file for each episode in the season. Now on these Super Bowls, I've got it set up to where there's only one episode or at most two. But again, if there's two episodes, there'll be two NFOs. And let's go find one that's got uh, two NFO or two episodes. Okay. So here's one that's got two episodes. So we see there's part one, part two, and then there's two NFOs and NFO file for each individual, um, episode there. So all you have to do there is you, you end up naming the file. So for example, this file season 38 episode zero one. So it uses that numbering convention. Always use that S season number e episode number and then you know obviously the title now the nfo file needs to be the exact same name as the video file the only difference is the file extension is nfo instead of avi or mpeg or mp4 or whatever so then you just open these guys up and again all you really need to provide for each episode is the title and then you need to provide the season and episode the rest of this you could all leave blank if you didn't want to for this particular series of videos, though, I did actually capture the air date and, you know, the runtime and stuff like that. So, again, all you really need, provide a title. This is what's going to show up in Cody and then provide the season and the episode. Now, once you've done that, you may or may not want to provide thumbnails as well. So you can do that if you want to provide thumbnails. But again, you don't have to. If you don't provide a thumbnail, then Cody will just grab a random frame out of the video and that will become a thumbnail. So what I typically do for these is for each episode, if I want a custom thumbnail, then I will uh, make the thumbnail or go get it from somewhere. Again, give it the same name as the NFO and the video file. The only difference being the extension is .tbm or tbn. Now, there, the TBN is actually just a PNG file, but you just label it TBN to let Cody know that, you know, this is a special image file that you want to use for this purpose. Uh, the newer standard for if you're using XBMC or Cody 14 or greater, which you probably are, they are using a new naming convention, but luckily they do still have the backward compatibility here on the TBN files. I've still got a couple of Android media centers that are running version 14. So I typically do it this way. So um, the images and stuff will work across all the different versions. So no biggie. You got your NFO file, your video and your TBN. Now, if you go back to the root after you've done that for every episode and all your fake seasons, um, then what we're going to do is we make a file called banner.jpg or banner.png. That's going to be your wide image if you want one. If you don't use that view, then you don't need one of these. Uh, you want a fan art to get a nice background and stuff like that. Again, you don't have to have it if you don't want it. Uh, Folder.jpg is the backward compatibility default image. Um, and here we're using the wide banner for that. Uh, poster is if you're looking at poster view, uh, you might want a poster. So here's something I made quickly in Photoshop. And then you get into all the seasons. Now, again, what you'll see here is I've got season number TBN. That's for the XBMC 14 and earlier. And then I've got season 31 poster, 
PNG. This is the exact same file. The, uh, the only difference with these files is that the, um, you know, the TBN file is for XBMC 14 and earlier, and the dash poster dot PNG file is for uh, Cody 15 and up. So I've got the savvy. I just got copies of those in there. But basically, if you want folder, if you want images for each individual season, again, you don't need this. Um, then you just make these files and give them this name. Once you've done that and you've created all the images you want and all the NFOs, then it's just really a matter of going in the Cody. And then here you're going to go into your TV show area, but go into uh, files. So these are going to be actually your file sources that you've defined. And then here we're just going to go into uh, TV shows. And I've got this sorted by date. So I see the newest one. But here, here's the actual files on the disk. And then here you could just go uh, get to the context menu, go to TV show information, and then go to refresh. Now, when you go, when you click refresh, it's going to tell you something like uh, refresh for all episodes. Yes. And then it's going to say, oh, I found locally stored information. Should I ignore this local information and fetch everything from the Internet? You want to be sure that you click no on this, because if you do this, uh, it may find an incorrect match or it won't find a show. It'll throw errors. So just click no. And then it's going to basically go through all those NFO files that you just created and uh, your show will now be in the library for you to go ahead and browse. So you can go down here and find that show, that this pretend show that you just invented, and uh, and there it is. So a helpful little tip. Uh, you can do something very similar for music as well, and I'll show you how to do that uh, next time, where we can go ahead and create fake CDs, which I do this very, very often. Um, Let's take a look here. And we'll see that I've got stuff like this, uh, Skyrim, which this is not a CD that actually exists. These are actually just some of my favorite YouTube videos uh, of covers of songs of the Bard song and stuff like that. So, um, but it appears within the library as an actual CD, even though it's not really a CD. It's something I just fabricated out of thin air. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So in any event, I hope these tips were helpful to you and we will talk to you guys later.